In the USFL, overtime will be like you've never seen before. It's a best of three shootout. We'll line up at the two and alternate possessions between the teams. If we're still tied after three possessions, then it's sudden death until we have a winner. This is the USFL. This is the XFL Overtime. This is about edge of your seat, game ending action. There's no coin toss, no one possession wins, and no ties. Instead, XFL Overtime is a shootout. So the best players on both sides always determine who wins the game. Each offense gets up to five one play possessions to score from the five yard line. Teams get two points for each successful conversion. Teams alternate plays until one team is mathematically eliminated. Split, split. Tackle, tackle. The defense can't score, but if they make a stop or create a turnover, the play is dead. The team with the most points after the five round shootout wins. If it's tied after five rounds, then things go to single rounds until one team scores and the other doesn't. Because this is winner take all kind of football. In the USFL, when you score a touchdown, you've got three options. You can kick the one point extra point, snapping it from the 15 yard line. That'll get you one point. Or you can put the ball at the two, run a scrimmage play and get two points. But if you want to go for three, they'll put the ball at the 10. You run a scrimmage play, it's successful for a score. You get three points, which means if you're behind by nine after that touchdown, you could tie the game. And more importantly, a two score game is an 18 point difference. This is the USFL. This is the XFL point after touchdown. This is about raising the stakes and stepping up the strategy. In the XFL, the scoring team has three different point after touchdown options, and none of them involve a kicker. The first option is an offensive play from the two yard line worth one point. The second is a play from the five yard line worth two points. And the third is an aggressive play from the 10 that earns three points. The scoring team's offense only gets one chance to convert whatever option they choose. And if they fail to convert, they get nothing. And the defense can score too. If they get a turnover and return it to the opposite end zone, they get the same amount of points the offense was attempting. That's three, baby, that's three! So now there are more chances for teams to come back and no lead is ever really safe. In the USFL, offenses will have more options than ever. Why? Because they can throw two forward passes behind the line of scrimmage. This will open up the playbook like never before. Imagine quarterback throwing the ball forward to a wide receiver, and then the wide receiver throwing the ball forward back to the quarterback who advances for a touchdown. Imagine the possibilities. This is the USFL. This is the XFL double forward pass. This is about offensive creativity. Typically in football, only one forward pass is allowed. So if you want to try one of those tricky double passes, that first pass has to be a lateral, and those are risky. Not in the XFL. In our game, two forward passes are allowed as long as the ball doesn't cross the line of scrimmage until that second pass. So the game speeds up and the playbook opens wide up creating exciting and unique opportunities for dual threat players. Open, 